Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I'm coming to you with my winter TBR, like an entire month and a half late, but better late than never. And I got glasses. I have a few pairs, so you might see them sometimes. You might not. I don't have to wear them, but I need to wear them if I want to see far away. So like driving or if I go to a play or anything like that, but I'm good when I read and watch TV. I don't really have to wear them, but I was just up and about. So I have them on. I might take them off because they're glaring a lot. I'm going to take them off. It's actually kind of funny because now when I look at the screen, things don't have edges anymore. <laughs> but enough about that. I'm coming to you guys with my winter TBR a little bit late. Now I had this written out forever ago, like probably beginning of December and I've been sticking to it pretty well. I just haven't had time to film it yet. I've been filming other things and I just wanted to just get it filmed and get it out there. So I usually have like 25 books on my TBR and this season I'm just gonna have 16. So two of them are books that I've started and have finished, two of them are classics, and then the other 12 are books that I just wanted to read this winter. They kind of have wintry feels to them or maybe it's just a book I want to read. And some of them actually I already have read. If you follow my Monday reads, you'll see me wrap up on a few of those. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wrap up on my fall TBR. And this will be a quick wrap up because I basically didn't read almost anything that was on my fall TBR. It was a little impressive, I will say. I read three books off of my fall TBR and that is it. So I think I just was in the mood to read other things and I think I was busy and not actually reading a whole lot over the fall. I'm gonna read off the ones I did finish and the ones that I didn't and you're gonna actually notice quite a few on this list that are carried over to my winter TBR. So the three I did read were The Diviners by Libba Bray, which I loved, one of my top books last year, Murder at the Vicarage by Agatha Christie and Ordeal of Innocence by Agatha Christie, another one that was on my top reads last year. Ones I didn't read, all right, here we go. Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, Never Night by Jay Kristoff, Iron Gold by Pierce Brown, Solace by Gail Carriger, Never Fade by Alexander Bracken, Legend by David Gemmel, Shift by Hugh Howie, The Shadow and Bone Trilogy by Lee Bardugo, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima, Green Glass, I don't remember who that's by, Wayfair by Alexander Bracken, Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North, Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier, Poppy War by Somebody New, by The Prigging of My Thumbs by Agatha Christie, and Posturing of Fate also by Agatha Christie. So that was a lot of books I didn't read. So I made my winter TBR a little bit smaller in the hopes that I can actually read these books that I picked out, but I'm gonna get started. My first one is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, which is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. I haven't read this. I've read Six of Crows and I've read Crooked Kingdom and I haven't read this one yet. I don't really know what it's about except the Grisha verse. So people with kind of special powers and the world they live in, I can't describe it better than that because I haven't read it yet. It's one of the ones I haven't read, but I do want to at least pick it up and get it started before spring happens. I also have Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis on here. This is one of the ones I have read, but I will go into those details with my spring TBR. This follows a World War II catastrophe of a German boat that has a bunch of civilians on it and it gets torpedoed by the Russians and what goes on with that. Next up we have Vicious by V.E. Schwab and this is following two boys who are in college together who basically want to see if they can create superpowers and it kind of is coming from a now and then 10 years ago kind of point of view so it jumps timelines from two weeks ago to 10 years ago, nine days ago, 10 years ago eight days ago, 10 years ago, back and forth, and you're kind of putting the pieces together of what actually happened and how the characters got to where they are. Super excited about this one. The only Agatha Christie that I have on my TBR is the ABC Murders by Agatha Christie. This is when they're actually turning into a mini series soon. So I'm excited to watch that. It's gonna have John Malkovich in it as Herc Perot, which will be interesting, but I wanna read this before I watch that. I also have Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Wax and Wayne series. I think there's 
four in the series. I think there's one more coming out. I don't really remember. And it takes place in the Mistborn world, but it's like 300 years later. So people are like ancestors of the people that were in the first books. It's kind of cool. I also want to read Soulless by Gail Carriger. This one is actually on my book club pick, so I need to have it read by the end of February. So this will be one that I will definitely be reading. Basically, this is a supernatural world, kind of a steampunk world as well, yet Victorian era. And it's just sounds super interesting. I've been wanting to read it for a while and I'm super glad that I'm now forced to read it. Next I have Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the sequel to Renegades. Since it's a sequel I can't actually talk about a lot of what happens in it but rest assured I'm sure it's going to be action-packed and full of more and more superheroes and anti-heroes and I am just here for this book. I also have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. And this is one I started in the fall and I was really, really excited about it. And then I just had other books I was reading and then I just wasn't reading for a while because I was super busy with life. So I am going to be restarting this and this is one of my other book clubs picks. So I will be reading this by the end of February as well. In this book, we are following our narrator who basically keeps waking up in somebody else's body every day and has to figure out who is killing Evelyn Hardcastle. I think they're reliving the same day over and over and over. I am not 100% sure about that, but I'm excited to read it. I also want to read The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. This is the third and final book in the Thousandth Floor series. Can't talk a lot about what that book is about, but the first book is kind of a sci-fi Gossip Girl-esque book which doesn't sound interesting. I don't know how to describe it better. Basically we have people who live on the thousandth floor who have money and we have people who live on the 33rd floor who have like nothing. And the book really goes into their interactions with one another. Now it is YA so we're talking like high school age kids this whole time but she's such a good writer. Like the premise does not actually jump out at me but when I actually read the book I was like oh my goodness this is so good. Why is this so good? And I think what it is is she's very good at plot and just weaving plots so that even characters, unlikable characters, still have a likability to them and then how they cross over with the other ones and how one character can have like their finger in three different pies and then this one has them in one of this and this and this. Like I think it's just, I really like her weaving ability when she writes. It's a great series and it's definitely underrated and not talked about enough. I am also hoping to read The Bear and the Nightingale. This is one I've been meaning to read probably like the whole second half of last year. Everybody raves about it, says it's so great and it sounds interesting and I couldn't even tell you what it's about. I could just tell you that at one time I thought it was interesting. At one time I was like, hmm, I want to read that. So I added it to this TBR. Bear, Nightingale, there's like snow on the front cover. It makes me think of winter. I also want to read Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. Now this is one that I basically wanted to pick up as soon as I finished Morning Sun in like, what was that, August that I finished it? And I kind of wanted to pick it up, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's a second trilogy based in the same world and that just means I'm gonna have to wait and wait and wait but I really liked the first trilogy so I decided to add it in to my fall TBR in hopes that I will get to it and I also want to read Poppy War by somebody I'll put it here the way this book has been described to me actually doesn't sound insanely interesting it just sounds kind of interesting I think it's about a girl who goes to like I want to say a magical school and finds out that she has some extra superpowers and then I think there's a lot of political intrigue and war around it as well which doesn't always like get my juices flowing but for some reason I feel like I might really like this book so I'm hoping I can get to it this winter we'll see the two books I am choosing to finish this winter are the Dorothy Must Die stories volume three which I read the first story so I just need to read the other two and I need to read those before I can actually finish the series which I would like to do at some point this year I think I'm gonna have a video about series coming up because I got things to say about series I've started series I'm not gonna finish and series why am I starting more when I haven't finished the other ones I just need to do a video about it and this is the time traveling fashionista which is a middle grade book and it is about a girl who travels through time and something with fashion I couldn't tell you what but I started it forever ago I basically am gonna have to restart this one but I think it's a pretty quick read I should just get to it and then I have my two classics that are on my TBR for winter first one is Emma by Jane Austen this is actually my only copy of Emma which is crazy because I think I have like seven or eight copies of Pride and Prejudice maybe more I don't really know but this is part of the collection that my husband got for me I think last Christmas and it's super cute all the chairs I don't know how chairs draw into Emma but it is what it is. I have seen the movie, I've seen Clueless and love it, and I think I started this book and I'm pretty sure 
I never finished it. I think I started it in high school. And I think I always thought I read it, but I don't think I did. So I want to read it. I'm excited to read it. I don't know if I will, but we'll see. And the last one I have is Mary Poppins by PJ Travers, I think. This I'm actually gonna buddy read with my sister during the month of February. So I am excited to get it. It is like a kid's book, so it is short and everything, but I would have to say it's a classic. My sister and I decided to buddy read a few books throughout the year, and this is the first one we're gonna start with. So I'm pretty excited to read that one. And that is it. That is my winter TBR. I'm really excited about getting that out. I love doing my seasonal TBRs because then it gives me like a whole three months to read books and as long as I get to at least half of them I feel pretty good about that half of 16 is eight and I think I can do eight I really do so better late than never but let me know down below what book you want to read still this winter so before spring happens what is one book that you would like to get read I would love to know please leave that comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and I post videos twice a week so you can find me here again at another time soon I'll look forward to seeing you guys later goodbye